Seven thirty tonight. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, it is. We're into the final. What? Eleven hours now. The trade mm. period. So thirteen players have switched clubs via trade and free agency. Gary, not the most prolific of trade periods, but nevertheless, we rage on. So a number of deals still roadblocked. One of the most difficult, I'm sure you've spoken about already this morning, was agreed to late, late last night, and it paves the way for Jordan Dawson, of course, to join Sydney um, after crossing uh, Adelaide after crossing from Sydney, and that trade will be lodged shortly after midday. Tim, when the uh, official paperwork can be lodged before the 7.30 deadline. They like to just build the crescendo, the AFL. I'm not sure they're going to get it this year, but we might get some real late ones. So there were so many versions of this deal, but ultimately it is Melbourne's future first round pick that the Crows acquired last Wednesday that gets it done. So Bobby Hill. Conley would have come for him. We know that. Significant interest. Hill's determined to get to Essendon. So while Jason McCartney said yesterday, Gary, that the deal was unlikely to get done, and he told Bobby that, it did progress further in their hours thereafter. And as of last night, talks are pretty positive between Adrian Dodora at Essendon and Jason McCartney at GWS. So the Bombers have offered their future second-round pick, but the expectation from Essendon is, as is always the case now, they want something back, Gary. Give uh, us a future third rounder. I'm not sure the Giants are going to go for that. Throw in a 62 and then get on with it. So that's where did, it sits at the moment. Did you also hear that um, they may have put Bobby Hill on the stand, his management? Did you hear this story yesterday? Put him on the stand? Yeah, put him out there. Get him to do an interview. And? And, well, just plead his case. That, yeah. I think there was the, sort of, uh, Target the old heartstring uh, job. That was going to be on the cards at one stage. But aborted? Uh, well, Hasn't stage. happened yet. Could yeah. get to that. Stand by. Could get to that. But anyway, they're, they're progressing at least. So Jordan Clark, though, they're not progressing at all. Complete and utter stalemate. Still over the 19 and 22. Frio think 22 is fair. The Cats want 19. And if it is to be 22, they want something else on top. Perhaps a future third round pick. Jordan Clark's waiting over there in Perth. I think he even might have moved in for his man- with his manager there for a period of time to wait it out. He's still contracted at the Cats. Tense, I'm told. Very tense. Oh, it would be a nightmare for him to have to go back, put the hoops on again for another year, which is possible because he's contracted for one more. Fremantle have offered him a four-year deal. I think if anyone's going to blink here, it's the Dockers. They've just come so far. Wouldn't it be horrible if they couldn't get the player there? I, mean, I feel that Jordan's not got a ticket in his mind to come back to no. Geelong anytime soon. It was just a one way. No, I reckon it's a one way. Is he packed in up his, his joint in uh, Geelong? I don't know that, but um, yeah, you know, of course Geelong can call the bluff and say, "Well, you, I don't care. You'll get a one way back." But yeah, right now, yeah, I don't eight, think he's got eight. a one way. Cats have been here before, and the hawk rode into town yesterday oh, too. They've got a they've got a cough up. Well, I think was the phrase. What colour like. steed did he ride in on? Big white horse. <laughs> he had a big black hat on though. <laughs> Old town road style, do you reckon? <laughs> Indeed. So they're talking tough, the Cats, but so is Jordan Clark and his management. He did kick the tyres last year, but this year he's gone full ball to try and force the move uh, home to Fremantle. Peter Adams has done everything but get to Sydney. He's met with them. He's met with John Longmire. He's nominated them. He's even trained with some of their players in Adelaide mm. who are based yeah, he, there. He's been down to Bondi, Bondi <laughs> and bought himself some budgie smugglers yeah, as well. That's he, how and started, confident he is. started yoga. He's got a Sydney <laughs> tattoo and everything, but as of yet, no agreement. I'm hearing 31 gets it done, and Sydney would pay the entirety <laughs> of that contract. So while that's perhaps a little bit further back in the draft than Port have wanted to Take it. They're mm. wanting a first rounder. They've told everyone that. Take 31, get on with it. I've, been, to- I've been told he's going to play for nothing. He just wants five yoga. <laughs> sessions for a week for four years. <laughs> so if Sydney stump up that back-ended contract, the final year of it, and then uh, obviously offer him a longer-term deal than that, I think 31 becomes more relevant and appealing to Port Adelaide. Tristan Sherry, Cherry, however you want to pronounce it, has become uh, one of the more fascinating negotiations just by virtue of the fact really? that North Melbourne and St Kilda are so far apart, Gary. Now, I know you say, who is Tristan No, I know. I say with respect, I don't know why this would be holding anything yeah. up. Well, that's what makes it so fascinating. So the players seen Callum Coleman-Jones come in and his manager said, we, we can't stay here. St mm. Kilda are looking for ruck depth. It's all about your opportunity. You've got one year to go on a contract at North Melbourne. We fear what happens after that. Let's get you somewhere where you can add another year off the bat, two years and safeguard your future a little bit. But the St Kilda offer for Tristan Cherry is so light on with a swap of picks and such that the Kangaroos would effectively be giving him away for nothing. Okay, for yeah, nothing. but they, if St. that's Kilda, the case, then St Kilda have got to up the ante. They, they can't do. just sit there they and be should. smart, Alex. They should say, listen, we know he's not Todd Goldstein, but we are prepared to give you something. That's right. Okay. They, they, they think, St Kilda think that he's ready to explode, right. that he's ripe. Is it Cherry ripe? <laughs> oh, jeepers. So... 
North saying a future second rounder has to be involved. And, of course, the Saints won't offer that. So it's hard to see it happening That's at the moment. That's too much. It future is too much. Future second's too much. Is there, there way? And come, North know that. But they want to keep him. Come to the party. It, you, St Kilda know you're trying to get it for nothing, North. Yeah. You're, you're being stupid. Come to the <laughs> middle of ground and get it done. So anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens there. But um, What's happened to the mediator that uh, everybody used to talk about when uh, these deals couldn't get done? Wasn't there at some yeah, stage I the AFL? Take that job <laughs> back the on. AFL well, didn't they have some mediation there, process well, There has here? been something recently on that. Was it last year? Was it as recent as I'm 12 sure months ago last, where we had a mediation session? Was, that never, exactly. Yeah. There's something like that happened last year. No, no, I'll nothing. take it. But give me another one. I'll take it off for you. <laughs> so anyway, well, we've got the ruck, the stuck rucks, the merry go and You might be required for this one, Gary, because right. it could be a three-way trade. Me. What is it? It's Johnny Segler, of course. Of course, we've spoken about it ad nauseum. It is from Hawthorne to Geelong, which releases Darcy Fort from Geelong to Brisbane Lions and Collingwood um, send Max Lynch to Hawthorne given they've lost uh, Johnny Segler. So it could end up being a three-way trade. I think Brisbane and Geelong have, have found common ground when it comes to Darcy Fort, but Segler to Geelong, well, He's no worth such. more than the other two, just marginally. Yeah, but there's money's good. a big part of this because he's well, got a... they a, pay the money. Yep, and that's, done, what they, that's what they're haggling. <laughs> Tick, <laughs> off, next. <laughs> next. No, I think, I think I've exhausted your patience. So that's where we're at today. We've got uh, what are we? Uh, about eleven hours to go in the uh, in the trade period for this year, and maybe we get one in the final minute, a la Adam Trelaw this time last year. Eleven sixteen SEN Trade Radio, the only places to be today because you'll hear it first here. Well done, you've been outstanding, Sammy, through this whole period, and we love you and appreciate your work. You've even shaved half your head off. <laughs> that's how excited you get during the trade period. Oh God, <laughs> I've gone away with the hat. The secret's out. You become a hero to my sons. I think that's they, they reckon you are half whacked when you did. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> <laughs>